you want to tell them? No, you should tell them. Oh, okay. We are having a blast making videos that you can watch on Amazon Fire TV directly from your TV. It's so much better than when I used to just watch them on my phone. And so much easier. You just plug in your Fire TV and say, Alexa, open YouTube into your Alexa voice remote or paired echo device. She is so helpful. It takes a village. And then you can catch up with us on one of our vlogs, Tasty Tuesday, or the Sticky Show right in your living room. I'm gonna have to get adjusted to these life changes. I think you're gonna do great. Oh, thank you. Go get me a drink. What? Yeah, we're gonna have to watch a lot of videos now. What would you like for Christmas, young man? <sighs> Hi, it's Thursday. You're watching Thirsty Thursday. Show is Thursday. We get fun. It's not Thirsty Thursday. Don't do it's that. It's Sticky Show presents Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> Hey look, we did something about the smudge. Oh yeah, everyone was complaining about this smudge on, on our wall, so we fixed it for you. That cost $300 to fix. You're welcome. Last night we drank, and so we're still feeling kind of hungover from that. Um, so we thought, why not just keep the party going? Keep it rolling. And continue to day drink. So currently it's 1 p.m. Uh -huh. in the afternoon, and yep. uh, we are going to start drinking. <laughs> this time I have created two of the three cocktails we are going to try today. And I'm really excited about them because I created them and I like to brag about it. Also, we have a third one that we're making that um, is like my adapted recipe. What? You just look like such an idiot with those things moving. Oh, you look like, like the freaking class ass. No, you look like that. an idiot. At least I don't make noise while I'm like moving my head. You're jealous then. <laughs> I'm You're not. fucking jealous. I'm not. I'm sorry that my husband's allergic to merriment. Hey. I, why? Well, Why like, are you destroying Christmas? No, this thing bounces. It's cool. Anyway, are you ready to <laughs> try my drinks? Hell yeah. It's 1 p.m. on Thursday. Let's have a drink. Great segue. So basically, we went to BevMo. Not sponsored. Not sponsored by BevMo, but BevMo, holla. So we went to BevMo to get a bottle of wine, and we saw these Christmas vodkas. We got this one, and we got a peppermint one, which you'll see in the next drink. I came home, and I had to create drinks around them. So this is the first one. I call it Santa's beard. To make this drink, you will need caramel vodka, almond Bailey's or Allemande, butterscotch schnapps or butter shots, that's the brand I like to use, and some milk. First, you're gonna get a shaker, check. Then we're gonna do 1.5 ounces of this kissed caramel vodka. Ooh. In. Boom. It smells like you could just drink it right out of the oh, bottle. God, does it ever. So basically what I wanted to do was make the drink taste like that. It does. Taste like how it smells. Next, okay. we're gonna do an ounce of this Almond Bailey's liqueur, this Bailey's Almonde. One ounce. Oh! Boom! Cause I think like caramel, milk, that sounds good together. Sure. Also, butterscotch schnapps. Oh my God. That will complement the caramel nicely. What's the difference between caramel and butterscotch? I have no idea. I they taste exactly the same to me. They smell the same. How, how many I put in? 0.5 ounces. Oh, that's a baby amount. Okay. A baby amount. But a little goes a long way with these schnapps. Oh, yeah. And lastly, so it's not just all alcohol in here, although that's what dreams are made of. I thought it would be complemented nicely with some milk. You can use regular milk if you want. I have almond milk. It doesn't really matter. Santa likes milk. 2.5 ounces. 2.5 ounces in bud. Boom. Okay, now we're gonna grab some ice cubes because this is gonna go into a martini glass, which you don't want ice floating around in a martini glass. True. So we're gonna make sure it gets really, really chilled inside of the shaker before we strain it into a martini glass. Some splash. Don't splash it. Ah! Ah. I bet I could do it without splashing. What the? Maybe. Oh, because my cube's already on top. Maybe if your head could jingle, you'd be able oh, to do it. All right, shake this as hard as you can. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You ruined Christmas. At least it smells good. Now that we got this shaken up the correct way, um, we're gonna put this into a martini glass. But first, Santa, I heard he likes to have cookies with his milk. What gets stuck in Santa's beard? Cookie crumbs. Oh. That's a cracker. It's a graham cracker, which is similar to cookies. That's not a cookie, though. We're gonna need the crumbs. Oh, part. this tablecloth's already we need, the, we need the crumbs part. You destroyed it first. No, it's already gross, though. You're, you're pounding it into the grossies. Oh, am I? Well, here, I'll, I'll crumble a new one for there you. There you go, thank you. I want a little piece. You can't have that. Why? Because you spilled the drink. Mm. We're gonna take some corn syrup, put it on the plate. High fructose. So many fructose. Wow, what is that even? Where do they get that? From corn. Synthesized? Synthes synthes and then we're gonna just take the rim of this glass and lightly rim all the way around. And then we're just gonna dip it into our graham cracker crumbs. 
That's tight. Yeah. Then we're gonna strain your drink into the martini glass. Absolutely dope. And voila. Santa's beard! Cool. Would you like to try? Yeah. So this is what I imagine Santa would prefer to have when he comes down the chimney. If I was Santa, oh, this is what I would damn, want. Oh, damn, son. It's dank. Mm-hmm. That's the freaking jam, bud. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's the oh, ultimate yeah. jam. That's great. Nate, would you like to try? Absolutely, I would. Welcome, Nate! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Hey, 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 I'll take it from him. He needs to sit in Santa's lap if he's gonna drink it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> this is weird. This is okay, come on. Weird turn. Yeah, right on there. there you go. That, okay, it's there you definitely go. taking an odd All right, son, now, now, Nate, what do you want for Christmas? You sound so much like dad. <laughs> he does sound like your dad. I have a dad, I have a dad memory <laughs> like this too. Yeah, but you're not dad, and it's, I don't know, it's just the whole <laughs> yeah. thing right now. Yeah. Hope everyone's comfortable. Cause we sure are. What do you want? What do you want? Holy! I just want another one of these for yeah. Christmas. I can get that for you. Yeah, I can yeah, make yeah, that happen. Yeah. Santa's beard, huge hit. Honestly, I give it nine point five out of ten. What happened with the other point five? Well, you gotta leave room for improvement on something if something else comes along. I think the point five went all over the room. That's true. This is like by far one of my favorite drinks that, is, that I've made. I like saying that though. This is by far one of the greatest drinks that I have I'm made. I'm created. You're welcome. Love it. Peasants. Tastes exactly how that bottle smells. Agreed. And how the room smells. Yeah. Agreed. Thanks to Steve. Yeah. Okay, young man. Great. Down the slide you go. Yeah, well, well. Next Down drink. The slide. <laughs> this next drink is called Mistletoe Kisses. Whoa, why is it called that? I named it that because after you drink a few of them, you'll you don't care where you are, you want to be kissed. Oh, I see. You just so want to kiss with everybody. Mistletoes everywhere. You hold your drink over somebody and they'll be like, whoa, what's that? Can I have some too? It's like, not unless you kiss me. I like to bribe people for kisses. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> to make this drink, you will need peppermint twist vodka, Bailey's Alamande, butterscotch schnapps, creme de menthe, and also the milk of your choice. So this one, we're going to start with a tall glass and we're going to fill it with ice. Can you handle that? I don't know. I'm probably gonna, the ice will go all the way across the room. But I'm going to try. It's kind of relaxing. It is. It's like a Zen garden. But if it kept happening, it'd kind of be like Chinese water torture, I feel like. Yeah, you don't know the when the way. next clink is gonna happen, and That's you're just true. like, <sighs> Next, we're gonna take Smirnoff Peppermint Twist. This is the other vodka that we found. Yeah, this is like a dope bottle. Look at the bottle. Yeah, it's it's dope, like holographic. Dope not yeah. sponsored, by the way, but not Smirnoff, sponsored, but you, you want to holla. Hey, not yet. 1.5 ounces of Peppermint Twist vodka. Dude, is this like a scratch and sniff? Because I swear to God. Oh yeah, that is It's true. a scratch and sniff. Yeah. It's almost like they gave us marketing materials and said make sure to mention that it has a scratch and sniff, but they didn't. It's almost like they knew that adults are just grown children and they're prone to marketing. <laughs> I'm not a child. Ooh. Me neither, that's why I can drink these. Okay, are you ready? 1.5 ounces. Me and Nikki just found out we're gonna be aunts and uncles again, isn't that cool? That's cool. Can you make this drink? No, but, but, but I wanna talk about, about merry things while we do Merry Christmas time. I don't wanna be merry until I have a drink. That's fair. Like so. Ooh, I can almost feel the merriment coming. Okay. Hell yeah. So I wanted to keep the ingredients kind of similar to the last drink since we didn't have a ton of ingredients. That's not true. We have a lot of ingredients. Um, creme de menthe. Different type of mint, but you know, I thought it would work. We're gonna do 0.5 ounces so of that. It smells herby. So not too much. Yeah, 1.5 ounces. This is ounce. mostly for the color. It helps that it's also mint flavor and we have peppermint. 1.5. But if you put too much of it, no, not 1.5, oh, just 0.5. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me you fix it. it. Can you stop me, dude? That would've been a nightmare. Ooh. You definitely don't want to put too much of this. It'll make your drink taste bitter. It's mostly That's for- That's good, that's right. Yeah. Ooh. But look how Christmassy See, it I looks. I like going into a clear glass like that. That's cool. Fire. We're very easily <laughs> impressed. Okay, then that almond Baileys that we used earlier. I like the almond Baileys too, because it's got like a light flavor to it. It, it doesn't, smells it doesn't like, take over yeah, anything. It smells like the jam. Ooh. And then to sweeten it up just a touch because right now it's kind of overwhelmingly minty. Um, I put a little bit more of that butterscotch schnapps. Nice. So 0.5 ounces of that as well. Homemade. That's right. That's what how I do. I like that. This is like this is great if you want to make multiple drinks at a party and you don't want to buy a, a ton of ingredients. You yeah, that's the best because normally you have to buy like 19 different things. For if you want to take multiple drinks. drinks, yeah. Five ounces of that. So sick. Great. You're just gonna fill the rest up with milk. Boom! Also like right here. Perfect! Then you're just gonna take your shaker and you're gonna go back and forth a couple times. Oh yeah, that's my method. Okay, now before you pour it back into this glass, yeah. we're gonna also rim this glass. What better garnish than a candy cane? This one doesn't oh, crush as easily. <laughs> I got an idea. So you're gonna pour that back in. Okay. And you can either 
rim it with crushed candy canes. Or, or if you stir. have a big candy cane. A stir. It's not a stir, it's just a well, garnet. No, you, you could. Why wouldn't you? Good question. Is it because I came up with it? Yeah. Exactly. I can tell. I don't like it. It's a good trick. Yeah, right. Get out of here. That's it. Yeah. Don't do that. Oh, come on. It's not a stir. It's so cool. Do you want to try it? Yeah. It's like your okay. mixologist with Hell yeah. Okay, ready? I like how you hold the candy cane down, but you don't hold the lid down. Well, it hit you in the nose. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's not as minty as I thought it was gonna be, which is good. Does it make you wanna make out with me? Yeah, of course. That's true, because if you drink mm. a minty alcoholic beverage and you make out, it's like you just well, had like, Listerine. Yeah, it's like breath freshener. <laughs> this tastes kind of like mint chocolate chip ice cream. It absolutely does. Yeah. It's not too much peppermint, which is, I think, yeah. good. Let Nate try some. Nate, would you like to try it? Nate would always like to try Well, come on and well, you gotta all. sit down on Santa's Come on Santa's lap, young man. Make it real weird, too, if you could, please. Look, young man, you wanted to have a drink of alcohol? Well, you gotta sit in Santa's lap Why first. Why did you lick your finger? Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's just real weird. What Shoulder. would you like for Christmas, young man? <sighs> Get off your lap, I think. Is this drink worth it? Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Oh, yeah, that's worth it. Hold, that's worth it. It tastes like... An Andy's mint. Yes. What an old man reference name. <laughs> but yeah. first, I feel like, I mean. This, Don't start it! That was gotta make it idea. better, right? He's right. Gotta make He's it right. See, it's natural. It can only it's help. Natural. It's just more peppermint. It's instinct. I hate that Steve contributed to my drink. You just wanna do it. He's a peasant. I don't wanna say it made it better. But it did. Don't say it, Nate. You know why? Because you're an American and we love like little accoutrement like that really does nothing but we think does everything because it looks cool. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it is about presentation. Yeah. I think most things that I'm attracted to, it's like about the presentation. Shots, for sure. Totally. <laughs> Have you decided, Nate, what you actually want for Christmas? No. Because maybe I drew your name for Secret Santa this year. Maybe I'm trying to figure it out actually. Oh, well, good luck with that. Fuck. Nate, between this one and the first one, what would you say your favorite one is? If I had to pick, like if I could only have one more yeah. of each, or of one, I would definitely pick this one. Ooh. Really? That's yeah. interesting. If I had to pick, I think the the first one's winning by like this much. Yeah, I'm with you like on the first teeny one. Teeny hair. First one's killing it for me. But, but I get, I like I get it. These. It's like if you like regular ice cream or if you like mint chocolate chip ice cream. But the first one for me is winning by, like yeah, I give this a 90 too. and I give that a 95. That's super close still. That, that's so. <laughs> it's pretty much the same margin. Completely but <laughs> in a way, it's by a mile. By a lot. By a huge Five margin. percentage points. We all agree. Well, let's see how you feel after this last drink. Okay, let's do which it. Which is mold wine. Got my brother in lap. I got my lady. You're real light weird. Light doesn't get any better. It's just so slide. weird. Okay, no. young man, down the slide. <laughs> down the slide. Down the slide. All right, for our last drink, we will be making mold wine, the Nikki Limo version. My favorite. You all need rum or brandy, your choice. I'm using spiced rum. Apple cider, Malbec or a Syrah, some kind of wine like that. You don't want it to be too light. You want that like really meaty type of red wine. Half an orange worth of orange juice and half a lemon's worth of lemon juice. Also, cloves, whole cloves, and whole cinnamon sticks. Ready? Hell yeah. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the apple cider. So take our apple cider, even though it looks like apple juice, it's apple cider. This is more like, definitely like a party drink. We're gonna make a big old batch of it. If you're having a party, just have this heating on uh, the stove or have it like in a slow cooker warmer. And we wanna thank all of you for watching That's this good. sticky That's shit. Good. That's good. Oh, sorry. This is maybe too much. Wait, what are you doing? I'm trying to get it back in. Why not the best method? <laughs> That's the best method? No, no. Okay, guys, give me like 20 minutes. We're just gonna um, get this to get hot, but not boiling. You don't want it to be boiling. You just want it to be hot enough to make you cozy. So we just wait here? Yeah, we're just gonna wait here. Oh. While our apple cider is heating up, we are also gonna add our half an orange and our half a lemon. Oh, you pre-did it like a real cooking show this time. Yeah, wow, look at me. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Stuffing an orange into a lemon squeezer. Hey, you did it though. I did it. Smells good. Yeah. We're also gonna add a few cinnamon sticks, whole cinnamon sticks, and a few whole cloves. How many is a few? Uh, like three. Three seems so light. Well, they have a lot of aroma in them. Oh, I see. Don't worry. And three whole cloves, or how many? Yeah, cloves? like a couple. Co oh yeah, I've like seen, a couple. I remember those. Like that. Some recipes they only use one, but I like to use. What is a clove? I, I don't know. It's a it spice. Looks like, it looks like an apple stem. I know. How did they figure out that that could be added to things? That's what I always spice. wonder. It's because of thousands of years of boredom, probably. Yeah, and because people used to live in forests. Yeah, nobody like, had Netflix what, back then. Flavors. They're all just like. I don't know, does this have flavor? No, does it have flavor? No, does this have flavor? No, and like, oh, this one. Yeah, probably. probably. Once your cider mixture is hot but not burning, we're gonna turn off the heat, 
and remove it from the heat because we don't want it to kill our alcohol. So we're just gonna let it cool down just a little bit. So it's not, you know, like making noises and acting like it's super hot. We wanna protect our alcohol. One thing that will help it cool down a little bit faster is if we pour it out of the hot metal pan. Oh yeah. And into a bowl. Okay, I'll hold it. Yeah. I'll hold it. Look at it splashed. Okay. It's also more decorative if you do that. Yeah, I agree. Once our mixture has cooled down a little bit, we're gonna add two cups of rum or brandy. You can add either one. I personally like to add spiced rum. So we got this big handle here of Captain Morgan. We're gonna add two cups of it. Go for it. I sliced some decorative oranges in there. Did you see? Aren't you glad I did that? Don't do that. Come on, Bowery. More, 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 more. Hopefully that fits Just in there. Just throw it in. Wow, that's so cinematic. That's cinematic. Oh my God, it's flashing. That's You're wasting flashing. alcohol. Are you cleaning this kitchen after? No. Okay, we're also gonna add to this mixture a cup full of wine. Of wine? Yes. That's what makes it a mulled wine. Good job. It's almost like I was a cocktail server or something for 11 years. Worst years of my life. One cup. Yep. All right, hopefully that fits. Oh, this is gonna splash everywhere for sure. Don't splash everywhere. You don't need it. Ooh, look how pretty you turned it. That's cool. That's so pretty. That was science. That's why you gotta get that, that dark, dark red, that meaty red. Get the meaty red. And then we're just gonna I'm just gonna stir it a little bit so our concoction is not, is completely balanced and not mostly juice or mostly alcohol. And voila, we have mulled wine. What you're gonna wanna do is pour it into a cup like this, a mug with a handle on it because the drink is hot so you don't want to hold the glass that has the hot drink in it. You can put it in a coffee mug if you don't want to be super classy. We are nothing but class over here on the Sticky Show. That's for sure. Okay. We're gonna garnish this with a cinnamon stick. Go and act like you knew that. Mold wine! Do we love it? Well, let's try it. Cheers. Oh yeah. Whoa, that's way orangey this time. Well, there's an orange on the top of that. Yeah, I'm gonna take this out. Much better. Yay! Much, much better. So good. Mm -hmm. I love the cinnamon flavor in Me there. Me too. You're lucky you got a cinnamon stick in there. I don't have one. Oh, I thought I gave you one. No. You can put one in there. Ooh, that's the bomb. Hell yeah. Of these three, what is your favorite one? Well, they're different in so many ways. How many? Well, for one, first drinks are very cold. This drink's very warm. Yeah. So like, when you're doing the tree and stuff, I think yeah. this is the best one. To yeah, yeah, when you're like decorating the tree. Decorating the tree, it's like smelling all cool. Actually, when I lived alone, and the only year I ever had to decorate my tree alone, it was like 100% alone, pretty sad. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I made this, and it made me all warm inside. I did not feel sad or lonely at yeah, all. Yeah, it's a comfort. Yeah, it's very comforting. Yeah. And I was just me and the cats decorating a tree. Whereas Santa's beard. That's like a party favorite, one. But it's a party one. Yeah, yeah. for sure. If you want to socialize, you're drinking a Santa's beer. Exactly. Well, this is more just like you're chilling. That's like if true. we had like a, a just a chill Christmas party, I would make this for that. Yeah, that's true. Like have like It's a Wonderful Life playing and mm -hmm. stuff. Everyone's cozy and drinking this. Are you gonna invite Nate to sit on your lap to try this drink? Nate, come on, come on over. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> if you this feel if you feel part. bad for Nate, go just over to his Instagram at Nate Green Games. You can see this little we'll hunk, link him in the this description. little hunk over there. He's single. He's single. Uh, Ladies. But we're very protective. Men. We're very protective. Go ahead and have a drink. I'm not that protective. I don't protective. want this anymore. <laughs> yes, you do. Just drink it I up, Nate. Then on, answer man. all your DMs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right, we like this one. Okay, I should say, I don't even like wine. It does not taste like wine. That's solid. It does yeah. not taste like wine. Not, what does it taste like, wine. Nate? Like alcoholic, I mean, alcoholic juice. Like It tastes like Christmas in a cup for me. Yeah. Wow, very detailed, Nate. I mean, okay, it's like if you live in a cold climate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, could, I could drink this every day. True. Yeah. True. Like if it were- I think were, it was invented in Germany. You know, I've actually had- And you live in Germany. Go. I had German mulled wine at a Christmas market in Germany. How was that? That was delicious. Well, is it better than this? It was a lot stronger than yeah, Probably. Stronger, yeah. Did we put a lot of alcohol in that too. Yeah, we did. I I, I didn't like that one as much because it was too strong. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is good. Too strong. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Nate, yeah, what is, good. what's your favorite Christmas drink of the ones so far? Man, I might have to go with this one. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yes. It, it topped off the Andes mint drink. So they just got incrementally better for you. They really did. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's solid. For me, it's tied with the first one. I, I can't pick. I love this one, but yeah, like you said, it's They're just like different vibes. Different scenarios. Different, completely yeah. different vibes. So make them all. I think that's the only option you I mean, have. I agree. You can make them all pretty easily. Yeah. You have Christmas parties probably coming up. Maybe you're hosting one. Maybe you want to impress a bunch of people. 
Definitely make these. Down the slide you go. Oh, oh God, my poor leg. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of, of what is it? What's today? The Sticky Show. The Sticky Show is sponsored by Thirsty Thursday. Sponsored by Thirsty Thursday. It's Thirsty Thursday sponsor, presented by The Sticky Show. That's correct, thank you. Cheers. These drinks are very tasty. What do you want for Christmas, Nikki? All of this. All the alcohol. Oh, okay. What were you thinking? Well, I don't know. I thought you wanted something specific. And Doc Martin boots. Don't you want to know what, 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 what I want for Christmas? Don't you want to know? No. Also, don't forget to check out the Our Shit podcast. They Don't Tell You podcast. Shit they don't tell you. It comes out on the same day as the Sticky Show. So if this ain't enough sticky for you, yep. you can get more sticky for free. Link Please in the description. Please rate it well because it helps us out a lot. And we appreciate you guys listening to the podcast all that. year long. Did I tell you, you we appreciate best. that? Because we, we really do. Thank you. And thanks for supporting the Sticky Show. You guys have been so awesome this year. You have no idea. Thank you so much for loving and supporting the Sticky Show. Yeah. We love being here every Thursday and hanging out with you. Exactly. Subscribe to the Normal City of This. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.